Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the second swing golf out here on the Les Bolstead driving range. It's a very windy yes. and chilly May morning here, Jake, but um, the content must continue. Mm -hmm. So today we've got kind of a fun head-to-head -head comparison. We typically do a lot of golf clubs, but today we're going with golf shafts. So um, we're going to go sort of a stock versus premium or stock versus upgrade shaft test today. Uh, tell us what we're working with here. Yeah, so stock shaft here is going to be your standard Tensi Blue. This is a okay. mid-launch, kind of mid-low spin shaft here. Fit this club all the time, or this shaft specifically. Uh, it works really well for a lot of golfers that need a little more help getting peak height. Um, and then on the premium side, we have the Ventus TR Blue 6X. This is a much stiffer in the butt section of the shaft there, really stable, but okay. a little higher launching down here in the mid and tip section there. This is a mid-launch, mid low spin shaft. What I really expect to see out of this more premium shaft is a tighter dispersion and a lower spin rate. This Velocor technology, it's a very low torque tip. On a miss hit, the toe is not gonna open as much, the heel is not gonna close okay. as much. So I'd expect to see a little tighter downrange dispersion. Interesting, okay, yeah. So I guess before we get started here too, you talked mm -hmm. about what you expect to see in the test. We yep. have the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Max heads. We're mm -hmm. gonna put the shaft in both of those. Um, what would you say, I guess, is there like a ratio or maybe what are you like, in, what's this conversation like for you in the fitting bay with golfers that might be looking to upgrade? Obviously a lot of it has to do with budget, I imagine. Yes, absolutely. So. I'll always ask, do you want to try any premium shafts today? Most of the time, they're kind of interested. They yeah. want to know a little bit more about them. So I'll go into some technology with them, kind of go through their numbers and explain where I think that shaft could help them. Yeah. We'll try it out and see if it is better. It's it's not always better. Yeah. You, that's why we always got to test. For some people, it makes a 10, 15 yard difference. For some people, the stock shaft actually is better. That's why yeah. it's so important to get fitted. This shaft can be very useful for golfers. I've played them the last couple of years. I'll never go back. I absolutely yeah. love this shaft to death. Um, but it's just very important to come in and get fitted because it might also not be a Ventus. It might be a graphite design. It might be an Acura shaft. It could be any multitude of them. Awesome. Yeah, well, today what we're going to do is going to have you hit uh, about five-ish good shots with sort of each shaft and that driver. And then we'll look at the data and see, you know, if your hypothesis is correct in terms yeah. of the dispersion and, and better numbers mm -hmm. um, on the full swing launch miner we got today. So you ready to hit? Absolutely. All right, leak that one right a bit. Yeah. And remember Got today, Jake, too, with the wind uh -huh. going like this, yeah, your misses are going to be a little exaggerated, but it is normalized on yeah. here. So just keep that in mind. All right. Um, so, Pretty good spin, right? Yeah. So what are we talking about with your, I guess, you know, I don't know what your gamer driver is or driver shaft. You mentioned yeah. so, um, that you like the TR, uh, the TR Ventus. My but. gamer build is a TSR 310 degree with a Ventus Red 6X TR. Ventus Red. So. Okay. I don't launch the ball super high. I do pretty good on spin. So I don't mind a little extra spin from that shaft. It just helps me get the peak height okay. that I want because TSR is a very low spin head. Yeah. I'm usually searching for about 12 to 14 degrees of launch and 2,000 to 2,400 spin. Okay. If I'm in that range there, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. That first swing there was uh, a 108 club speed, one just under 160 on the ball speed. Spin yeah. was just over 2,000. Mm -hmm. um, and then your launch was 11.1 .1 on that. Yeah. So. So you're kind of expecting these shafts both maybe launch a little bit lower than yes, what, what you're I used to have. with your yeah. Ventus Red. Okay. Ooh, that's a great ball. That was caught pretty well. Oh, that's Look spin. at that one. All right, 2400. All right, so this that's a really good golf shot right there. Let's see. The launch was still a little bit kind of on the lower side uh -huh. again, relative because you mentioned 12 to 13 is what you're kind of yeah. eyeing, but you maybe anticipate it going a little bit lower mm -hmm. in this test. So yeah. 10.2 on that one. Okay, absolutely. All right, a little pull there. Just a slight pull, but you got one that's kind of a little bit right, mm -hmm. one that's kind of a little bit left, and that's actually both of those balls too are still like in play. Yeah, yeah. It's not like they're spinny. They, you know, it's a problem. Yeah. So. Um, but that one spun a little bit. Did you yeah. catch it low in the face maybe a little, little bit? bit. Okay. I think a little low, little heel. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense too. The launch was a little bit lower too, mm -hmm. so. But still, I mean, it's out there, right? Yeah. You still carried it 263, which is kind of keeping up with those other mm -hmm. ones that you had, yeah. so. Oh yeah. That was caught pretty well. Look at that thing just kind of float. Yep, that's 268 on the carry. 163 on the ball speed. Mm -hmm. So, and then that spin again, right around 2,500. Yeah. Launching what, 10.0 there, yeah. so. Another really good one. That one launched a little lower even yeah. than, than these other ones, I think. I think I swung a bit more down on that. Yeah. Yeah, really spinny. But 
still out there, right? Mm -hmm. 2850 on the spins, a little bit more spin, so it carried a little bit less as well because of um, because of that. But mm -hmm. let's see, like we got some, we got five good shots. Those are pretty good swings out there. We got three that are for sure down the middle. Yeah. We got one maybe leaking a little right, one maybe leaking a little bit left. Uh, so let's kind of go in here and get some average numbers. On the carry, you're at 261. The total is 288. Spin right now. This was one mm -hmm. we were kind of had a couple under 2,500. That yeah. last one went over. Your total average was 2619. Yeah. So is that kind of close to what you would expect? I mean, I mean, I'd say maybe a little a bit more. Hair higher than okay. I'd usually see. Um, I'm not shocked by it. I'm hitting a bit yeah. more of a cut right now. Usually see yeah. a little more spin come up there. Uh, but I mean, 2600 is in a pretty realistic range of where I kind of expect the shaft to be. It's yeah. a little spinnier than. Yeah, that. and I mean, it's it's not like it's a bad number. No, it's a really good all. number. You're gonna get you're you're almost optimized. I think yeah. at that point. Yeah. So, um, ball speed was 162. The club speed at 110. Mm -hmm. And then the average apex height was 81 feet. And you only yeah. saw a couple of those launching a little bit lower yeah. there. So. Um, and then uh, we also want to talk about launch angle, the average 9.3. So yeah. definitely lower launching yeah, than lower. you're used to. Um, and they're probably, you know, there's probably something to sort of a subconsciously hitting mm -hmm. down on it, it for that wind, wind ball with the wind going that way. Yeah. So uh, there's probably some of that in, involved here too. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, this is, I'm going to be fascinated now to see what happens when we put in the TR Blue. Yeah. Um, so you kind of would expect the dispersion maybe get a little bit tighter. Dispersion maybe. tighter, lower spin. Lower spin? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what happens. Absolutely. Ooh, that was a better. Big high draw. Yeah. Ooh, there's a good ball. That was a good one. Just a piercing draw there. Yeah. 2,800 on the spin on that one. Smash Factor 150. That's what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. I think I caught right that there. a hair low on the face. Explains the, the hair. spin just a bit. Okay. Well, what do you, how about, uh, before you hit this one, do you notice a feel in the two shafts? Like, yes, I mean, I feel about, it. You talked about like the butt end, uh -huh. how that's different. So what what are you feeling in the swing that's different from the 10 It's side? a lot more stable in the handle. Yeah. I don't feel it flex quite as much. I can feel where the club is a little better in my okay. swing. Um, the tip section and the mid section are still pretty active. You get that kick feeling where it kind of loads and releases. Okay. Uh, at the end of the day, the shaft is a timing device. You got to find something that feels right with your swing. Yeah. Um, I generally like a very soft shaft. That's why I like that TR Red so much. Yeah. It's very stable, but I can feel that kick. Okay. So it's not too, like unpleasant to you. I mean, no, it's, you're used to something a little different, but you can still work with it. Oh yeah, I can still feel that kick there. All right, pushed it. Pushed it, it's kind of a good ball Hang flight in line. a way though. Just a little bit right. No spin. Oh yeah. All right. That was kind of very a, toey. Kind of a knuckle draw there almost. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see what happens here. So that was a very large toe ball. How did that okay. do for offline? So on that, that's an interesting, let's kind of focus on that one because mm -hmm. you, obviously you didn't like how you swung that one and yeah. you felt a little bit off. Um, you still, you, you still, the side total was, mm -hmm. you know, nine yards. So yeah. it came back all the way. Um, Launch angle is still 11.9, so uh -huh. it even felt like it might have been kind of a toey and not good, but it still yeah. launched up there, carried mm -hmm. 248. Yeah. It's a decent miss, all things yeah. considered, right? So the average spin rate is 2600, well, yeah. 2631. So pretty similar to the to the Tensei Blue. Uh -huh. I'm going to go through all the numbers here, but um, I guess if you were to, I mean, if you were to guess, did you think you gained more yardage with the I think my TR? better shots were, or I should say my best shots were with this one. Yeah. When I caught it well, right. ball yeah. speed came up, it went further, it launched a little higher. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So you actually averaged three more yards carry with the TR Blue. Yeah. Um, and I'm going through here on the spin rate here, which was basically identical. Mm -hmm. We're talking about 12 RPM average yeah. between the two. So, um, and then if we go to, I'm going to just go to the, the ball speed here. Mm -hmm. So you actually picked up ball speed too with the Ventus TR Blue yeah. on average. So you average about a mile and a half, just under two miles an hour mm -hmm. faster there so um look at launch angle too that was one thing we wanted to note as well a little bit higher launch with the ventus tr blue yeah. so um i guess some of these numbers surprise you some of them don't what are you thinking about that i mean again this is a small sample size yeah. you know and we're it's not the perfect test mm -hmm. but um i mean what are you thinking here about i would say i'm not surprised to see the ball speed come up yeah these shafts do a really good job of translating 
transferring yeah. velocity. Yeah. Velo, velo core comes from velocity core. They're trying to get as much velocity into that golf ball as yeah. they can. Um, not surprised to pick some ball speed. I am a little surprised the spin rate didn't come down as much as I thought it would. Yeah. But it launched higher with faster ball speed, got some more distance out yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. And then I'll, I'll give you a look here on the dispersion. Mm -hmm. So the red, the red indicates the Ventus TR that yeah. you just hit, and then the blue dots are the Tensei. Mm -hmm. So you, you can see those kind of three up there that were definitely the highest ball speed, yeah. farthest distance up mm -hmm. there. Um, so the dispersion is relatively, I'd say, the same size in yeah. terms of like, you know, width, uh, you know, like east to west type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's, I think we found some things that we liked and I think it also we sort of, or they're comparable enough where I think there's those golfers that might be like, ah, you know, $200 or whatever it mm -hmm. is for an upgrade, you know, um, I'm not sure it's worth it for me. Whereas yeah. the player that really wants to get super dialed in, mm -hmm. wants that extra three yards of carry yeah. that you got, they might see mm -hmm. them, they might think that that's worth it. Yeah, and that's why it's so important to come in. Cause I mean, for some people, this shaft can make a 10 yard difference. Yeah. So you never really know how good it can be for you until you try it. So next time you're in for a driver fitting, make sure that you at least try out one of these premium options, see how it can help your game. Yeah, I like that, Jake. I like that. So golfers, go get that fitting schedule at Second Swing. Get someone like Jake with you to talk through the options, and then you can obviously test them in our TrackMan uh, fitting bays. Jake, thank you for the testing today, battling through this wind mm -hmm. here. Not ideal hitting conditions, but um, I think we got some good data here. Yeah, I appreciate it.